the inevitable is going to happen. We're taking the F-Type SVR, the world's only V6 F-Type SVR, to Beverly Hills. That's right, I saw my last video. Uh, the police, well, they have declared war on basically every imaginable car for any sort of offense from play tents. We're gonna see what happens. We're rolling the dice, wish us luck, and here we go. If we decide to drive this car around, we're in for a bad time because I think the probability of getting pulled over is pretty significant. Um... Hold on, I... There's some, there seems to be some sort of situation here. I don't know what's going on. Um, the car spotting's being put on hold. I don't know what's going on here. Um, good lord, let's park the car over here and have a little look-see. So it looked like to be some sort of armed robbery. Got the SWAT team in their SWAT truck right over there. It's happened around 11 or noon. Of course, you got the police chopper, but I think they got the suspect in tow. Oh, all right. Never a dull day here in Los Angeles, dude. What a drastic change from Japan, where not much seems to go wrong over there. Kind of like a utopia. Obviously, you know, Japan does have its issues, but dude, my goodness, the United States of America. Holy crap. All right, let's go, uh, let's go car spawn, I guess. The weirdness has just begun. We got these two goofballs over here in the jack and box heads. Here we go. One trick pony, man. Seen these guys before wearing weird outfits. New hairdo, but, mm, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my God, dude. That's undercover. Oh yeah, undercover truck. What? Dude, what is happening today? Well, hold on now. Look at this. I've got a shear on the sky view. Look at this. There you go. Get it? There you go. And of course, there's more police action on the end of Rodeo right over there. So we're gonna check. It. <laughs> we're gonna check it out. So we park here, front row VIP spots here. Uh, there's around four cop cars. I don't know what's going on. We're just chilling here, guys, watching the show. <laughs> oh my God, this is. Oh, look at that red carbon shear on out, and the guy just had his white shear on out with the sky view. Look at that. We got some uh, nonsense happening with the police over there. I have no idea what's going on. I think the lady's a little upset that someone's taking photos or videos of her. So, anyways, quite the uh, eventful day here. My goodness. I'm gonna guess. No front plate ticket. Ah, good lord. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we're currently here at ST Exotics, my friend's brand new dealership here, brand new building. Look at this massive parking lot. Of course, we got Marcus's 997 Sport Classic tribute car, and the world's only F-Type V6 SVR. But dude, guys, we got a special surprise. Check this out, I'm gonna wiggle around my pockets here. Oh my goodness, what do we have here? With that being said, we're gonna hop inside, take a little look-see, and then, uh, Oh yeah, the surprise is right around the corner. Check out some of the cars here at ST Exotics. Got a brand new 800 mile stock LP640 in orange. Check this out. Completely pristine. Look at the interior and of course the floor mats. Boom. You gotta be kidding me. Of course, one owner here at ST Exotics. And you're wondering if this has been sold? The answer is yes. And check out the interior. Uh, Mark is pointing something actually pretty interesting. The Passenger seat is actually slightly angled towards the driver for a better uh, experience, so to speak. And of course, we got the, oh yeah, exhaust speakers right over here. I forgot the brand, but that being said, Speciali Aperta limited edition with the red carbon fiber all over the place, bespoke and tailor-made, baby. Check out the rear diffuser right over here as well. Boom, that is Athena Beauty. Quick walk around of the entire car and the interior, look at this. Of course, you got the limited badge from Ferrari. Check this out, 1 8 scale amalgam resin model. MSRP is at around 10 to $15,000 depending on the spec and configuration. Of course, it's a 1 1 with the carbon fiber base resin model, 1 8 scale by amalgam. La Ferrari Aperta, you can sort of see on the plaque who used to own this car, let's zoom in on it. Uh, you could get it right there, Leslie Wexner. CEO of L Brands, who also own Victoria's Secret. Check out the Mondo case with the leather strapping, and of course the Ferrari insignia 
right there on this massive chest. Of course, got the Lafari Aperta roof right over here on this massive tabletop in the kitchen, casually just chilling. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the moment you've been all waiting for, we're gonna go down this handicap ramp here. Obviously, wearing my best attire. We got the keys to the Lafari Aperta. I don't get to do this every day, let's so unlock it. Boom. How sick is that? One of 210 chassis, the final chassis, actually sold for a whopping $10 million for charity. Ferrari is gracious enough to donate that car for the children. Of course, got the interior here, and we have these standard seatbelts right here because you get the racing seatbelts, and honestly, that's just a little bit too much, right? We're gonna start this thing up, take it for a little spin, but it's only got like 350 miles on the odometer, so let's open up the door right over here. Boom. You see the doors are angled slightly differently than the regular LaFerrari Coupe. And of course, this has an option right over there. You can sort of see it. See that right there? That's the uh, camera to determine how fast and how well you're performing on track. So without further ado, let's get a startup. All right, so we're gonna get a quick start. We're gonna have Marcus driving this beast. Hopefully he's not in electric mode. Here we go. <laughs> Dude, this car is one of the best sounding cars ever. We're gonna hop in the passenger seat. This thing is sick. Not every day do you get to see a LaFerrari Aperta driving on the streets of Los Angeles. Let's hop on here. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. So we got the front lift on right there. You just press this button and it'll go up. We're gonna let PJ, the owner of ST Exotics, go forward. And then we're gonna follow suit and probably just take a few photos because it is golden hour here in beautiful Southern California. Of course, look at that view. Guys, this is the first time I've ever sat in a La Ferrari Aperta, but dude, this is a gorgeous piece of machinery. And by the way, the pedals move forward and back. The seats are stationary and basically mounted to the chassis of the monocoque of the La Ferrari Aperta. That being said, we've got the front lift up. And unfortunately for Max Shostak, who was supposed to be here taking photos for us, has slept in. It is currently around, let's check the time. It is currently, can you believe it? It's 6 p.m. Max Shostak, I don't know what to tell you, buddy, but you messed up. <laughs> so I'm currently wearing my uh, sandals and my flip-flops in a LaFerrari Aperta. Cool looking air vents right here. We got the USB port and an unknown little cubby hole Right over here. I don't know if you put your phone in there or uh, I don't, yeah, do I don't really know. We got PJ, the owner of SD Exotics, right over there, guys. Look at this. Quality cars, and of course, we're gonna try to angle this as such. Dude, a lot of viewers always ask me, what is going on at Spot with the crazy dips that you guys have here in SoCal? And the answer to that is, I have no idea. I mentioned short drive. We don't wanna to put too many miles on this thing. This is a piece of art. We're gonna open the door. Boom, look at that. All right, gonna step outside. Look at that. There it is, guys, look at that. Beautiful. We're gonna do a quick walk around of this particular car, but dude, check it out. One of 210, what a beautiful sight. And of course, you got the 70th anniversary insignia here on the side skirt. And to differentiate the coupe and an aperta, you can also see that the side mirrors are angled slightly different. And of course, the front air flap right here is angled slightly higher. And of course, if the guy's rocking without a roof, you already know it's an aperta. It is our lucky day. We got PJ, CEO of SD Exotics. We're gonna rev the LaFerrari Aperta for you guys. Don't worry guys, the engine has been warmed up. Don't, don't fret. We got it under control. Let's hear it, baby.
eight scale amalgam with the one to one Lafroy Aperta right there. Look at this, boom. What an amazing day. Many thanks to SC Exotics, hooking it up. Check out their dealership. They got some pristine cars coming in, so we will be definitely back very soon. Now we're gonna head back to Beverly Hills. We got Marcus leading the way. Dude, is it gonna be Arab o'clock? Or is it gonna be Fuckboy o'clock? Who knows? Check out the combos here at this brand new restaurant, Canteen. We got a 4GT. Boom. Ba boom. Ba boom. Very nice. Uh, 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 uh. See, nobody wants to pass this cop here. So, what we think is happening is there's so much cop presence in Beverly Hills that nobody wants to take their exotic car and drive around and loop like the good old days. So, I mean, this is probably the 20th cop we've seen, or his 20th round, rather. God damn it. Look, he's just waiting. Look at this guy. Guys, I'm telling you, it is no longer Arab o'clock. It is officially police o'clock. Oh, it's not focusing. All right, guys, so the trick now is to, we're gonna exit out left and make an immediate right and get the hell out of Dodge because uh, neither of us right now, the 335i or the V6 SVR have front plates, so. Wish us luck. Currently taking some back roads to get the hell out of the 90210. Dude, I'm telling you, the vibe, it's not too good right now because the cops, I feel like, are deterring a lot of supercar owners and uh, people like myself, and including fuckboys, uh, from going and cruising around Rodeo Drive. So, dude, we didn't really see too much. Hope you guys understand, but dude, police o'clock, man. Yikes. We've exited Beverly Hills and we've entered West Hollywood. Dude, the cops, dude, I'm telling you, there's just non-stop action all day, every day here in Los Angeles. What happened? Tell me. Talk to me. What's going on, guys? Dude, there it is, guys. So our buddy Marcus in the Porsche just bounced and a 4A that drove past us on Rodeo. Well, look at that. He got pulled over. I'm telling you guys. Nobody's safe with cop o'clock. 